All right. This is the Silversmith Cottage at Ravenwood Castle. Um, I'm just playing with the zoom here. See how close in I can get. That's the front door and a window out front. I decided to do some still shots and some video. Here's a little green one that was kind of tucked away back here. And this is a blue one. This is like a yellow one or beige. This is a you go back down here so I can get the best pan around view. There's like a little house that goes with the green one. Here's a little blue house. Not sure what it goes to. And this is the cream colored one. I'm backing up, I'm trying to get. Oh, <laughs> startle me for a minute. I saw a. Um... Okay, there is the back of one of them, right there, panning around. Um, this is some of the wooded area. I'm going to try to get some video footage of the front too, but I don't remember how to pause the camera. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep rolling, so I apologize ahead of time for the shakiness of this video, but this is just me walking up the path. The Silversmith Cottage is the last one. Um, and since this was my first time here, I wanted to get some good footage. Oh, all right, this is a blue one. And I thought this little, like, wrap, not wrap around, but half circle kind of porch was cool. Okay, that's out, right? Okay, I don't know how long my battery will have before it dies. Here's one with a ladder <laughs> up to the back of it. It's like, hmm, I wonder who's been sneaking in there. This is the front of one that, if you see the two poles there, they're actually made of wood. Those are actually like tree trunks, look. See, they're for real tree trunks. tree branches, whatever. Okay. This is a stone bench. Flamingo. Here's a close-up of this one. It's truly like a medieval village. Kind of reminds me of Renfest a little bit. This is a display window they have. I'll zoom in and see how much closer I can get. That's probably about all I can do there. They got a few things in there. And it is kind of cold out, so this is a little, like a little, I want to say rock garden. And in front of this one, look at that one. And that one beautiful, yellow. And that ladder is made of real wood planks and metal rods. <laughs> so this is kind of like a back corner angle of the, the uh, castle. I think there's some of the cottages over there. Here's a close-up of this guy. Let me back up the walk here and see if I can do this without breaking my neck and not shaking the camera too much. So I'm kind of backing up slowly, panning around, trying to make this as smooth as I can because I don't have a gimbal. And look, all the kitties running around out here. Isn't that the coolest? I know you probably can't see them real well, but cats can get in some places that we can't. And this is actually a swing in a tree right here. You can barely see it, focus on the red. Anyway, here's the infamous chessboard giant chessboard. I'm going to go stand in the middle of it here and then turn the camera around facing me if I can remember how to do that. How do I turn it guys? I don't know. Anyway. 
I don't know how well you guys will be able to see this, but here's me. It's as far as my arm can reach, and I'm literally standing right in the center. There's my feet of the chest set. Okay. Here's another angle of the castle, like a corner spot here. And there's my car. Right there, I'm the one in the middle. There's a cabin back here, but it's like, or no, it's this one. There's one back here, but it's like two covered by the um by the trees so i don't know if i the only way that i'm probably going to get shots of those guys is i'm gonna have to walk over there but before i do this is the front of the castle guys and this is also for the paranormal files for um colin peyton nick and bailey and all the spooky fam here i am took me 10 years to get here Ravenwood Castle, it's literally out in the woods as you can see and I'm trying to walk as slowly as I can down the ramp here, there's a roadway because I want to go over and get some footage of these two cabinets before this battery dies or two cabinets, listen to me, two cabins you guys definitely should come here sometime and do a paranormal investigation I hear around here somewhere and it is part of the attraction for Ravenwood Castle somewhere around um, in the area close to it, there is a haunted tunnel that I am told a lot of paranormal investigators have gone to. And I did ask them permission when I was inside if it was okay to get this last footage. And they're like, oh yeah, no problem. I have my phone alarm set for, um, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's my car through the trees. So you can barely see the front of it. Because there's the front of the castle, <laughs> there's me. <laughs> I'm literally right between two trees. Um, I don't know what these little ones are. I'm thinking one of them might be like the Baker Cottage, and one of them might be like the Candle Makers or something or other, I don't know. And I'm walking around out here with my sunglasses because, okay, this is a little, I'm not sure, fire pit looks like. Yeah, there's a little fire pit, and this little blue one here that I'm trying to slowly walk up to. I've only got eight minutes of video. I took some still shots, too. So when I'm done with the video of these last two buildings, I will switch the camera to um, still shots and get a picture of these guys. But I want to get the video footage all on one tiny little thing huh nice little sitting area this is the woods around it and over here is the baker's cottage so again i'm walking kind of slow uh, trying to because <laughs> i don't have a gimbal and it seemed like too monotonous <laughs> to set up my camera tripod thing that my husband Chris gave me some time back okay this one looks like the blue one and like I said I don't remember which one this is um and weirdly enough guys I think I'm literally the only person here <laughs> I mean I had the entire Huntsman Hollow to myself last night this is just another little area over here and I'm trying to watch as I walk through. I don't want to step in a hole and sprain my ankle. Um, not sure if this is just like, looks like it's just a sitting area, but I'm gonna go ahead. There's a little path here. Um, I had cabin 401. It was the first one on the right as soon as you drive into Huntsman's Hollow. Um, so forgive the shakiness of the audio or the shakiness of the camera. I'm trying to walk as slowly as I can. Here's some picnic area benches. I'm guessing this could be a place. There's a knocked over bench. <laughs> Oopsie. 
Maybe I'll set that back up for him just for out of a courtesy. Oh, there's two of them flipped over. What the heck? Anyway, I don't know what this is. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can get in it. it. Doesn't appear to be. I think it's just it's just a room. But okay, there is there is an entrance on the side. But well, at least on this one. See it right there? I'm guessing that's probably for like most likely maintenance and stuff. Um, but anyway, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, did my first paranormal of my own way. <laughs> paranormal investigation here last night, but I was only able to afford one day. Staying here, and that cost me $157.42. And that is the cheapest. Okay, here's the other one. Here's the other entrance. So yeah, you could put something in there. Like, I don't know if they use it for display. I don't know if they use it for, you know, people to pay or something, something there. For some reason, I'm going back up here to the uh, Blue and Red College. Cottage. College. Boy, I can't talk for nothing today, huh? Here's another view of the castle through the trees which didn't seem like too bad of a shot. Here's another angle of this fire pit, which, yeah, it was March 31st, and this was like a cold time to be out here, so, but to me, it was well worth it. I'm walking back up to the red one here. I hope I somehow managed to figure out how to put this video on my YouTube channel and Facebook, but it's probably gonna be a while because Chris, for one, doesn't even know I have a YouTube channel. And for two, I don't expect that he'll be any more supportive than I feel he hasn't been. Like, in other words, he hasn't been supportive. I had to lie to him because about coming here because I didn't want him to ruin it by trying to talk me out of it, bitching at me that I'm spending the kind of money that I did just for one night. I got free food out of the deal. Um, I never got any of the apple crisp, damn it. <laughs> but it's April Fool's Day. Stay spooky. That's for my spooky fam, and I'm going to switch the video off now. I've got 12 minutes uh, and some odd seconds of video. I'm going to s switch the video off and put it back on still shots. Blessed be all. It's been fun. Till next time. Bye.